certainly the intelligent building trend offers, offers new opportunity for integrators with low voltage PoE and as we like to say lighting over internet protocol. The integrator can now put in the video lighting side of the installation with no electrical requirement for high voltage C10 licensing. So that expands their um, ability to integrate the entire room, which is wonderful. Um, with the proliferation of huddle rooms, um, Zoom rooms, many more smaller video enabled spaces, you can basically turn any room, any space into a video collaboration center if you can fit yourself and your equipment in it. So that's certainly going to present uh, new challenges to integrators as we see these rooms just expand across um, facilities. One of the biggest opportunities is expanding on recurring revenue. Um, you know, I certainly, you know, we want and you know hope that integrators make that a part of every sale, um, have some sort of recurring revenue or RMR built in uh, to their contracts. I think uh, big expansion in our industry that's that's not noticed well by our integrators is uh, esports market. Um, it's one of our fastest growing categories from cabling to networking, and uh, I don't think they realize the difference between broadcast and pro AV versus what eSports needs, which is its own isolated uh, network for high quality audio video distribution for the players themselves, separated from what the audience wants to view. And uh, being such a uh, dynamic event where the, the, the kids and adults watching are so in tune with it, there's a large opportunity to really grow in our, in our market here for Pro AV. Uh, another thing that can help integrators uh, in terms of an area where they can succeed a little bit more is uh, prospecting a diverse talent pool. Um, there's so many different industries outside of AV, but there's skill sets that kind of uh, go hand in hand with what AV does. Um, so what integrators can do is actually prospect either young individuals coming out of school or individuals who are already in an established industry, let's just say healthcare or something like that, to kind of help them with their day-to-day -day operations. And what I mean by that is, you know, a project manager has very distinct features. They have to be detailed, they have to be goal-focused, they have to make sure that they're timely. Well, you can find those professionals in, in different areas and different verticals. So when you're prospecting talent and you're looking to hire people in your organization, it would help to look at the different verticals and see if those kind of features match what you're looking for. Because you can, you can find someone who's really, really successful um, and someone who's able to streamline your process to make your lives easier. So one of the uh, applications that we see as a, an emerging field is eSports. So we've already done a, uh, quite an extensive uh, project in Harrisburg and uh, it continues to grow all over. We got some other projects lined up uh, related to eSports. It's one of the important things when you're doing it is to have a very, very low latency. So our 10 gig products, uh, which is based on the SDVOE technology, seem to shine very well in there to deal with the reaction times that these players have. Uh, milliseconds matter to them, and they're very quick. And to have a product that can actually have a very low latency, where the one gigs usually can't deliver that, but the 10 gig products can, does very well. The one gigs are used in it as well, but more for the overflow to just watch what's going on. But the actual reaction time and distribution of that, that's usually done with the 10 gig. But yeah, definitely eSports is the way to go. Why haven't more integrators joined in to adopting AV over IP? As an industry, we've been speaking about this for 10 or 15 years. And okay, five years ago, four years ago, the silicon was not available, but today it is. And obviously, by the number of installations that have taken place over the past three or four years, the equipment works, the technology works, and why would you stick with equipment that has such severe limitations when you can move on and take advantage of millions and millions of dollars that have been spent by outside forces, outside our industries that are directly applicable to the industry.